Recently, I've been having a lot of fun making these like ambient Don Tolliver type beats. So today, I thought I'd make a couple of beats in the style of his previous album, Heaven or Hell. First thing I look for when coming up with these ambient melodies is some sort of synthetic element. And reality is, I don't have access to all of the rare synths used in these tracks sometimes, which is why I've been like addicted to using the Synth Palace collection. Prod by Jack was even kind enough to send me the Analog Artifacts and Modular Madness expansions. And this collection has like everything, to be honest. There's like one shots, there's textures, there's phrases, melodies. It's more like a production tool than it is a sound pack. So that's mainly what I'm going to be using today. And of course, if you're at all interested in using the pack in your own production, there will be an affiliate link in the description, which will give you a pretty sizable discount so feel free to check that out so let's see what i can do with the new sounds all right the reference track i'm going to use for my first beat is no idea we'll just see how it goes all right here it is so these expansions are way more like specialized so for example in modular madness you can find a lot more like granular textures and stuff like that it's really cool i think i'm going to go into the synth section i can work with that I think now I'm going to want to lay down some chords, so I'm going to look for a synth key real quick. That one sounds pretty good. I think I might strum the chords just to add a bit more texture. Now I don't want to rely on the pack too much so I'm going to go into Analog Lab 5 for a change. favorite part. I'm going to start adding some accents, some arps, some phrases, stuff like that. So we're finally going to open the Modular Madness pack. Yeah, I'm using that. I'm so afraid I'm going to go overboard and just like add 50 of them, but for sure I need some adjustments, but I'm just going to keep layering some stuff and see what I can find. Maybe some arp melodies, something like that. That'd be cool. All right. Yep. Using that one. <laughs> Problem is with this, as soon as I start adding stuff, I can't stop. I couldn't not add this one though, this one's cold. I've got all the melodic elements, so now I'm just going to mix them up and start the drums.
finish off this one, I'm just gonna arrange the beat and maybe add an acapella. about this one like the only glaring issue i have with it is that the original track is just so iconic like that vocal top line melody it just feels like this beat doesn't go with it at all i think the beat sounds pretty good by itself i just don't think it goes with the acapella sounding good i'm gonna move on to the next one I think for the second beat, I'm not gonna make the mistake of using like an iconic acapella. I'm just gonna make it really high tempo and hit really hard and see what I can come up with. I'm gonna start off with a pad. So I'm going to go into the analog artifacts pack and just see what I can find. That one's perfect. Gonna start off pretty simple. All right, now I'm gonna program a counter melody, so I'm probably gonna need like a lead or something. Alright, now I'm just going to copy all of the root notes into a bass line real quick. And now once again, I'm going to start adding my accents, my phrases. I always like starting off with some sort of repeating elements. I'm going to go into the Pluck Melodies folder and just see what I can find. something a bit more distinct now so i'm going to look for an up what i am going to do is reverse this and then i'm going to use them to finish off each eight bar phrase like this all right maybe like one more phrase to finish off and then i'll stop so i like the first and second parts of these samples separate I'm more than happy with that, so I'm going to mix up all the melodic elements and then start with the drums.
done i think two pretty simple beats today nothing too complicated there's not that many moving parts i think this pack would be perfect for like playboy carty and travis scott star production and the only reason i didn't really try that is because i didn't want three travis scott videos in a row so and once again if you're interested in using any of the sounds you saw in this video there's an affiliate link in the description that which gives you a pretty good discount on the packs it's like one of the only kits ever to completely change the way that i make beats so once again a big thank you to prod by jack for making this video possible and over on his channel he's got some really good content of him cooking up some like utopia type beats with synth palace which i assume you've seen already if you're watching this video but either way once again thank you for watching hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration this video helped you in some way and of course if you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe let's just listen to the beat and see what i could do better for next time